Hi, I'm Kathy Potter from the Frog and Tadpole Study Group of New South Wales, and this is Tinkerbell. And we're going to introduce you to some awesome frogs that can be found in Cumberland Plain Woodland. If I asked you to picture a frog in your mind, would it be green? Did you know that a lot of Australian frogs are brown? They can also have stripes, spots, bright orange, yellow, red or blue patches, and they can even change colour. The first frog we're going to meet today is so good at changing colour, he is a master of camouflage. The Perrin's tree frog, whose scientific name is Latoria perrini, can change its skin colour from a greyish white to dark brown and green and spotty. They are found in Cumberland Plain woodland where they like to hide during the day, tucked under loose or peeling bark on trees. But as their natural habitat has been disappearing, Perrin's tree frogs have also become common urban frogs that can be found sleeping in the top of water tanks, folded into outdoor umbrellas, pretty much in any moist covered location, including the spouts of watering cans. Even if you haven't seen a Perrin's tree frog though, chances are you have probably heard one. Have a listen to this distinctive sound and see if you can work out why they are also known as the maniacal cackle frog. The next frog we're going to meet is one of my all-time favourites. It is the magnificent Eastern Pobblebonk, named after the bonk bonk sound it makes. Its scientific name is Limnodynastes de Merili, and probably one of the most amazing things about these frogs is that they live underground. Pobblebonks can burrow so far underground that you could be walking over the top of them and never know they were there. And what's more, when they dig their way into the ground, they don't use their front legs. They actually dig in reverse, wriggling their bottoms and using their back legs. Our Pobblebonk is actually looking pretty hungry. And if you watch closely, he is going to show you something special about the way frogs eat. Frogs eat live food, but they don't have teeth like us, which they can use to chew their wiggly meals. So instead they use their eyeballs to help them swallow. When the Pobblebonk catches the cricket, watch his eyes. You will see them sink into his head and pop back out again as he literally uses them to help push the cricket down. Gross, but kind of awesome. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. Good luck on your scientific adventures and I hope you enjoyed meeting our frogs. Thanks. <laughs>